black mass broke every single rule. This description of the black mass endured for centuries. A person dressed as a priest would stand before an altar where a naked woman lay. She was surrounded by a black candle made from the fat of unbaptized babies and a chalice containing the urine of a prostitute. There was an inverted cross above the altar. The priest would bless black stained turnips. Prayers might be chanted backward. The culmination of the event was a potpourri of flagellation, prayer book burning, conilingus fellatio, and general hindquarters kissing. They might even slaughter a baby during the ritual. But there's a major problem with this description of the Black Mass. It may have never existed at all. Descriptions of the Black Mass are often extremely salacious. Black Mass's flaunted rules about sexual relations and sexuality. According to a letter written by Pope Gregory Roman IX in 1232, heretics at Black Masses performed all kinds of deviant acts. After a ceremony where attendants bestow a foul kiss on a toad's hind parts and kiss the anus of a black cat, the ceremony would quickly devolve into a scene of group relations. Gregory wrote, the lights are put out, and those present indulge in the most loathsome sensuality, having no regard to gender. If there are more men than women, men satisfy one another's depraved appetites. Women do the same for one another. Even into the modern era, descriptions of the Black Mass always featured sexual transgressions. Holding religious ceremonies on the naked body of a woman and throwing parties for group exchanges made the Black Mass seem even more reprehensible to Christians. Cross trampling was a popular event at Black Masses. For centuries, Black Masses were seen as a way to attack Christianity. Because of that, instead of venerating the cross, Trampling on a cross was a popular activity at Black Masses. In addition to trampling, a Black Mass might feature an inverted cross. Or, as in the example of the Knights Templar spitting on the cross, instead of making the sign of the cross with the right hand, worshippers of the devil might use the left. In every way, these rituals were the exact opposite of traditional Christian religious traditions in order to set the Black Mass apart. The Knights Templar were apprehended for spitting on crosses at Black Masses. In 1307, the Knights Templar were accused of heresy by French King Philip Roman IV. Templars were a medieval society of knights who took a vow not to marry. Since 1119, they had been dedicated to defending the Kingdom of Jerusalem and protecting Christian pilgrims during the Crusades. But their downfall in 1307 was fast. The charges against the Templars included claims that they had been participating in heresy. Allegedly, during these heretical rituals, New members were forced to spit on a cross and renounce Jesus Christ. They were also accused of kissing each other indecently and worshipping a cat, and the Templars reportedly vowed that unnatural lust was lawful. A naked virgin would lie on the altar for a black mass. As dozens of images show, the Black Mass was to be performed on the naked body of a woman, preferably a virgin. One book reports that the first requirement in the celebration of the Black Mass is a virgin, naked, spread eagled on the altar. The climax is reached when the officiating priest performs the sexual act with her. There are also a number of more modern reports of Black Masses featuring naked virgins. In 1889, one reporter wrote that the mass was said on the bare body of a woman stretched on the altar. Dating back to the 4th century, 
Black masses always had a reputation for unnatural sexual acts, which might explain the insistence that a naked virgin was an integral part of the ceremony. Witches had black masses to worship Satan, where they practiced the osculum infum. By the 14th century, the stories about black masses transformed into tales of witches' sabbaths. Just like the purported earlier black masses, which is inverted Catholic rituals by worshiping Satan instead of God. Another holdover from earlier black masses was the osculum infum, also called the obscene kiss or the shameful kiss. During the ceremony, witches would kiss the devil on his anus. Eating babies was part of the black mass ritual. Eating babies was part of the Black Mass ritual. Black Masses were an inversion of Catholic Mass, so instead of bread and wine, they ate male and female bodily fluids. Black Masses were an inversion of Catholic Mass, so instead of bread and wine, they ate male and female bodily fluids. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.